Say hi. So uh, this is surreal. We're doing a tour of different dorms for any students who want to dorm, you know, around campus, which is where majority of the students live. Okay. So this is the apartment. It's two bedrooms. There's one bathroom here. Um, that's like the kitchen area. We moved the fridge to this side up here. It was originally like back there somewhere. Um, and I guess those are the bedrooms? Oh, there's yeah, one. there's one bedroom here. The laundry and the dryer is up here. Uh, there's a little light. Cool. TV, stove. So does anyone ever cook here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just for display. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Make some ramen. <laughs> so you don't really have a view here, but... Yeah, yeah not much, but it's, it's okay. So this bedroom doesn't have a closet. It's kind mm -hmm. of a weird quartz. No that, closet here? That closet is here. Okay, so, so this one is only for that room? Yeah. Okay. And that's your room? Yep. It's kind of a mess right now. It's all good. It's all about the real life experiences <laughs> and not the the fake things that people show online. How were you able to come to find this housing? Uh, I used an app called Hotpads. Mm -hmm. It was recommended by an upperclassman, I think. Okay, and these Hotpads are um, pretty much just like advertising houses that's around this area? Yeah. Okay, and uh, where did you live before? You moved here? Uh, in the dorms. In the dorms, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, why did you decide to move? Um, the rent is a, in the dorms, I think, went up. So went it was up. actually cheaper to live here than okay. stay in the dorms. Okay. So, like, how much was it in the dorms and how much is it here? I think I had calculated, um, it was like 800 something. Okay, to, per month. To be in the dorms. Okay. And here it's like 775 plus utilities. Okay, so it's... Only a little bit better, but... Yeah, but I get a lot more compared okay. to the dorms. Yeah. So how was the moving process? And like, were, was anyone here, to like your parents here, to help you move in and whatnot? Uh, my parents, so they dropped me off. So I brought whatever I could fit in the car. And then most everything was bought from um, third and fourth years. Oh, I think okay. mostly fourth years Okay. who were moving out. So is that like usually the whole process, like the process of people just passing down things and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought you had to like buy new furniture, like new couches. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I bought, <laughs> super, I like, bought things off them for relatively cheap. Okay, yeah. cool. And um, where would you recommend the first years in the, terms of living? Like, what would you tell them to like, I think, just check out the dorms and... I think um, the three places close to campus, mm -hmm. like the Pearl, 910, and Warehouse. Okay. Yeah. So, um, no dorms? Stay yeah, away from def them. definitely not the dorms. Okay. Yeah. I think I think you pay too much for what you get there. Okay. All right. And that will conclude our interview. Thank you. And also like do the four fears sell these online, like on Facebook? Like these furnitures and stuff? Yeah. Bike storage. Yeah. No one takes them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Georgia. Hey, Hello. Hello. Oh, am I in this video? Yes, you're in the video right now. <laughs> kitchen. The kitchen. There's an island. This is a water closet. This is an actual closet. Put whatever you want in there. Cool. Uh, you get a dishwasher, which I don't know if other places do that. Mm -hmm. Fridge, sink, oven, stove. And Everyone wants to know, right? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not weird at all. No. <laughs> Table. And we have a porch out here. Awesome. We're facing the other part of the building, though. So if you're on the outside of the building, you don't get a porch. 
And then laundry's around the corner. So we have washer, dryer, and then it's two beds and two baths an hour okay. a day, but it depends on. Mm -hmm on where you are in the building. Cool, okay. I actually do have some questions for you, so if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, why did you choose this housing? Uh, we looked in at a few buildings in the area. We looked at Pearl 910 and Warehouse. The units we looked at were all similarly priced, but we got more here with the gym, with the study room, with the pool, table downstairs, and uh, the fireplace and everything so mm -hmm. we just got more here and it was a little bit of a nicer unit okay so can you tell me like how much um this unit was for you when we first got it i think it was 2020 so you had to like split it right we split it mm -hmm. yeah that's for two people okay and now it has increased the price increase i think it's 2060 okay so like 1300 per person so 1030 per oh, person that's yeah. what you mean <laughs> oh, you're good you're good Post exam, all right? <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> all right. Um, and then water and utilities is separate. That's mm -hmm. not part of the price. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for your first year, were you, were you also living here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Most people lived at the dorm, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, we came straight here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why did you come straight here? Uh, I was going to go with the dorms, but right. Daisy Thompson connected me with Christy, and Christy was looking off campus housing so okay we went with that so through connections and like yeah. facebook and whatnot okay mm -hmm. and um how was the moving process like because i do see that you have a lot of furniture it was great they have a freight elevator i don't know if you saw when you came mm -hmm. off of the elevators and you can put anything in there okay. it was very simple there's a person whose name is anthony who helps you kind of like move in and facilitates mm -hmm. trucks coming and mm -hmm. it's great it mm -hmm. was very easy you just tell them I'm going to be moving in on such and such day, I need a freight elevator for such and such time, and they'll leave it open for you. Okay. So um, were these furnitures passed down or were they bought new? Uh, came from Christie. They were okay. passed down. Okay, cool. Um, if you were to recommend a first year, do you think they should start off at the dorms so they get, get to know this place a little better? or start looking for you know these kind of places right away i did not live in the dorms i've seen them honestly they don't seem bad but mm -hmm. i've heard horror stories of mold mold okay. the one i saw didn't have mold so i think it's the luck of the draw if you get one without mold i say go there and meet people you're close to campus but yeah. if you don't want to gamble it and you're going to move out anyways you might as well just start mm -hmm. at you know living yeah. off campus okay Okay, and that's all the questions I have. Okay. Unless you have anything else to add? No. No? Okay. That's it. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> this is Ting. Hi. So she's going to be showing you guys around uh, the dorm. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, so for my room, I live in a two people's bedroom, and I actually don't have a roommate, so I'm just... I'm having all this space just by myself, and here's the living room, and the kitchen right here. Do you use the kitchen? Not really often. Not really? Yeah, to be honest. You don't cook? Nah, not Oh, much. no. And I have a good view here, like you can see the school. <laughs> so are all these furniture yours? Mm -mm, no, it comes like it's furnished. Okay. Which one did you bring in? Um, the micro big and the printer. I only purchased those two. Okay. And, and everything else has was here when you came? Right. Okay. Oh, I bought that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And any the other rooms? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So, this is the back here and this is my room. Oh, very good setup. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I keep it clean. It's a cozy. One thing I don't like about it is the heater is inside, mm -hmm. so it's kind of loud sometimes, and I have to turn it off. Okay. So, I mean, like, is the heater, um, is it the electric bill and everything paid? Yeah, it's all included. It's all included. Uh, why don't you just get, like, your, buy your own heater? Oh, 
by my own. I do have one actually, the horrible, but it's not like worn enough. Saw that there's other like, uh, you know, those like, what do you call that? What? The thing on the wall. <laughs> like, the thing on the wall? Here. What, what do you call this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I don't know, but I have a lot of storage place. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Storage place. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what is <Sure>. this? <laughs> I have a lot, yeah. All these, all my food, my emergency snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you eat this for your, like, dinner? Too? No, in the, in the morning. So sometimes I'll just grab, like, a protein shake and that'll be my breakfast. This is two people's bedroom and I got, I got the large, I think this is the large. This size is large. It's funny that they leave it unlocked. But hmm. It looks a lot smaller, actually. Yeah. So this is called large, and they have a smaller room size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my is deluxe. So. Okay. Right. Nice. So, uh, I guess like with, so th th this is two rooms, but if it's if it's one room, then but everything else is gonna be the same, right? Like the living room, the kitchen. Oh, I think because like, my room is deluxe, so we got a bigger, like slightly bigger living room. Okay. So the room's actually like smaller. Okay. Yeah. And I think if you have just two regular bedroom, two people's bedroom, you only only have one sink. Mm hmm Yeah. This would be considered the sink? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anywhere we can sit down? I just have a few questions. Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, how did you choose this housing? How do I choose this? Cause, so actually, I'm from really far away, so dorm is probably- Alabama. <laughs> That's true, right? Choosing the dorm will, will be like the easiest option for mm -hmm. me, so I don't have to think about, yeah. And it's all included. Mm -hmm. So what's all included? What does so that consist the, of? The Wi-Fi, the electricity bills, and of course all the furniture that comes with it, mm -hmm. right? So that can save me some time the okay. first year. <laughs> Just focus more on the studying. Mm -hmm. So you said you were lucky enough to have a, have this you know, whole dorm Space, all to yourself. Right, yeah. So how did you make that possible? Oh, just no one signed up to be my friend. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> really, that that, that's it. Okay. <laughs> really. <laughs> okay. And the people he lives across from um, the hallway, he actually doesn't have any roommate either. Wow. And he has um, two empty rooms. Yeah. All that's by really himself. Awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, like, if anyone wants to move in, is that possible? That is still possible. Right. That's possible, guys. Oh, no, don't, don't make it happen for you. <laughs> <laughs> don't make it happen. <laughs> um, so how much is your rent? Actually, I don't know. I, I think it's over a thousand. Over a thousand? A thousand and a hundred, I think. Okay. Is it because of the uh, the bedrooms? or? It's just the bedroom, yes. The, the rooms, yeah. Okay. Like everything included, it's a thousand and a hundred. Mm-hmm. So if you had don't a roommate, don't quote me on that. I think it's around that, right? If, if you had a roommate, would that still be the same? They'll still be the same. Okay. Um, how is the move-in process like? Oh, it's really smooth. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I remember it only took me like one morning just to figure out everything out. Okay. Did yeah. your parents come and help you out, or mm -mm, just by myself? Just by yourself. Yeah. And I. But you, it's not that bad. Like mm -hmm. I don't have much stuff. Right. You said that you brought uh, your own printer and your own microwave. Did yeah. you buy that afterward? Uh, yeah, I bought those afterwards. Mm -hmm. Knowing that there isn't any... Right, there's no any microwave here. Stuff. Okay. Those furniture, like those furniture in your bed, mattress, mm -hmm. uh, did you buy that from like an upperclassman or was it oh, something that you looked for? The furniture? Yeah. Oh, I bought that for my friends and for the mattress, it just, it comes with it. It comes with it? Yes. Okay. And um, for... Incoming first years, what would you recommend them? Like, Which, like for what, those people who live in the dorm? Or? Yeah, living in the dorm or living somewhere else where, you know, things might be more, you know, upgraded a little bit. Oh, there's pros and cons. And I'll say if you live from a really far place and you're tired of thinking like about where to live and to think about like electricity bill or whether your room is going to be nice or not, because that's a really risky thing and you will never know. Something could happen. So, and plus the dorm is really close to campus and I always wake up late. So this is a really good option for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And plus it's close to Chinatown. So I never have to like, if I forgot to cook or do a meal prep, I just have to go and take out some food. So it's been really convenient. Also there are downsides. It's like, it's a really old building. So sometimes there's like this winter break, they actually, they actually have a um, mouse in the dorm. Oh, yeah, it's not, not in your dorm, right? 
it's been in my room. Oh really? Yeah, and You've that makes seen me it? really sad. I've never seen it, but I've seen like the defecates and just yeah. Oh, that sucks. I know. So, but I you, heard worse like in other rooms. Have you like placed mouse traps anywhere? Not yet, cause I haven't seen it. But I heard like uh, one of my friends' room. She actually they put the mouse trap in her room and they caught four <laughs> mouse in <laughs> one night. Just one. Well, night. that's really unfortunate. Like you that's have to really pay so much for this room and like yeah. The fact that there's mouse poop. Right. The fact that it's uh, one thousand one hundred. I was just at a place where they paid like a thousand ish, a thousand fifty, a thousand thirty, something yeah. like that. And I feel like they have better, you know, amenities. Right. And stuff exactly. Like that. Yeah. yeah, I heard from my classmate. Of course, this is like later on, so I'm actually gonna move out next year. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So where do you plan on moving? So I'm thinking about the Cherry Street. Actually, the Cherry. Somewhere better. Pearl, like Pearl. the one that. Okay. Next to, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's where a lot of people are. Yeah. Living. There's like a couple um, places that most of the upperclassmen are. Right, and those places are still near school. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, before you choose podiatry, a lot of people will give you a lot of different advices. I think for my advice is to pick up the best one that fits you and just to go with it. Pick a, pick a program? Yeah, okay. like pick a program or once you choose that once you think that you're gonna do podiatry, a lot of like um, people will give you advice like you're big, you're second like some other second year students, but pick the one that fits you the best, and go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when I was the first year student, I was really overwhelmed by all these kind of advice and not sure which one fits the best. So I kind of just do everything, and that kind of sucks. So yeah, okay. Pick the one that's best for you. So, does it work? It doesn't work. So, how do you wash your clothes? You just put this coin washer in your clothes. But you said it doesn't work though. It doesn't work, yeah. You see? It doesn't work that nicely, but it still runs. Oh, no, I think they fixed it. Woohoo! Oh, nice. Fixed it. They fixed it. Alright. So, now you can wash it. <laughs> right, finally. To summarize, this is our school and our clinic. This is where the dorms are. This was where I interviewed Surreal. This is the location of the 910 Cherry that he was talking about, Surreal talked about. This is where the Pearl building is. And here is where the warehouse is. So they're all located conveniently to the school just about a block away so it's up to you guys um, there's a lot of different resources check Facebook um, check to see where your classmates are going maybe you guys want to dorm together um, go it's great ways to make friends but if you don't have anyone stick to the dorm there's gonna be a lot of first years here as their first choice before they start branching out there you guys have it three different locations three roughly different price points and yeah those are where most of the podiatry students who want to live around campus live and I hope that this kind of shed some light on how um, you find apartments like that or how to find roommates how to move in and give you guys roughly an idea of how much um, rent is here like you know considering the different places hope that you guys learn something from this I also want to thank all the people who were featured in my video today. Um, if it wasn't for their generosity, I wouldn't have a video, so I want to thank them. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe if you haven't, or you know, comment if you have any video suggestions. I will definitely consider it. 